Hi friends. <laughs> I am headed to Old Navy. Ironically, I just got an, a shipment. It's right down here on the floor. I was picking it up off my porch because I got a delivery notice just as I pulled out of my garage. And uh, anyway, I'm headed to Old Navy um, because I need to try on jean shorts. There's no ordering those. Like I would have to return them in store if they didn't fit anyway. And I would be ordering a couple different pairs to like try on and I don't want to have to do that. So I'm just going to go to the store, try them on and they're on sale right now. And if they don't honor the online prices, I'm going to be mad because they're on sale for like 20 bucks plus 25% off. So like 15 bucks for a pair of jean shorts should be a really good deal. But I'm going to go, dude, you were here first. Oh my goodness sakes, learn how to do a four-way stop. People. Okay, so I'm gonna keep driving. But anyway, I was getting ready to head out and I was kind of frustrated with my computer because my mouse doesn't want to scroll. Like I need to be able to scroll when I edit, like crazy. And it wasn't scrolling. So I keep having to restart and restart and I was like, bag this, I'm gonna go to Old Navy really quick. Because I have a full afternoon and a full evening. I have a scan for Ashley. We'll talk about that with her. And then I have to do a meeting at church and then I have to dash back home because I'm hosting book club. So my evening is full. Anyway, I was getting ready to leave and Jason texted me and he had been texting me this morning, just kind of back and forth, whatever. And he was like, hey, I'm headed home, let's go to lunch. And I was like, it's 11.15. How are you already coming home from work? And I called him and he didn't answer. And I'm like, this is a prank. Like, don't prank me and tease me that you're gonna come home. You haven't like left early from work to just come home in the middle of the day for a year? Like, we've had like employee problems for like a year. Well, it's been a lot longer than that, but um, sure enough, he called me back and he's like, yeah, I'm in the car, I'm headed home. And I was like, so I'm going to Old Navy? Gonna meet me there? <laughs> I didn't know you were coming home, made all these plans. And I only have like three hours before I have to go pick up Ashley from school. So he's gonna take me out to lunch. And then I always get scared. There's a cop that's parked right there, but he lives there. <laughs> so the cop car is always there. Anyway, we're gonna go and shop um, and try on some shorts. And I've already bought enough t-shirts to last me all summer and into the fall. Um, and so I just need to get some extra shorts. And if I find the right ones, I'll under, you'll understand. I'll explain. And then we're gonna go to lunch with Jason. Okay, I made it to Old Navy. I had to use the bathroom. <laughs> it's an emergency situation. But Jason's here. Oh, there he is. Find Jason in the store. A man is in a spot. Anyway, okay, we're gonna go find some shorts. pretty frank with you guys. The concept of what I'm trying to do is to hide, they call it the fupa. You don't need to, if you don't know what that is, look it up. <laughs> Tuck this in tighter. So I've got a couple of shorts and pants. I might have to cut off the pants because I need them longer. And so I might have to cut off jeans. So let's see if this is actually true. I've got one that has a button fly see here they say the button fly helps with the tuckage in that front area and the other one I have is a zipper fly so let's see which one and they're both the same size the same cut so let's see which one is better all right so they fit and I do like how they kind of make that a little bit more flat I want to be able to like tuck in a shirt right here right that's kind of the idea and I do like the back let's see I want to make a little more like tight fitting these ones are a little bit, see like, I don't want all this extra fabric that makes me look, like look at that. My leg is actually skinny, not like that big. I don't want to have all that, even in a short, like I would cut it right here where it's like ripped. And so I just don't want all this like baggy that makes me look bigger. I don't know what to do. See, and then like it's baggy butt. It's not like tight fitting in the butt. So I don't know. Okay, actually here are the shorts. They're a little short for me. I can't really like wear them this short for some reasons and personal reasons, but um, I do like this. Like it's the perfect like spot to like be able to tuck. 
And this is all tucked in nice. I'm actually very comfortable in this. I just need it to be longer. And maybe like more tight against, again, like I don't need it to be like all baggy like that. Grr. Jeans are so hard. Okay, I don't know. These jeans are actually very comfortable. I do like them. I just, and they're not quite as baggy. I don't know. I just wish they were tighter. I just know my, that's why I like my skinny jeans here. They just don't have them skinny and with the button fly. This isn't even a skinny. This is like a straight. What do they call this one? OG straight. I just feel like if I could do skinny with the button fly. See, this one kind of like, you see a little bit too much right there. But I want to be able to like, tuck it in like that. It's cute. What do you think? Should I just get these and cut them off there? Okay, again, for reference, see how my legs look skinnier because my pants are closer to my leg. There's not excess. Look, there's, there's like a half an inch of excess. And so it doesn't, and these, these are actually getting too big, which is a good thing. But I don't know. I want shorts. We'll just have to keep looking. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Okay, I'm kind of bummed. I went and looked at the men's, and they didn't have any button fly. Men have no idea. They get to like, oh, my waist size is this, and my length is this. Don't they do that for women? No, they don't. Why not? Because they're it's a men's industry. That's why. But what? Keep it simple. Keep them all like why change That's why the size I matrix? think it's Abercrombie and Fitch it has, now has a, a female CEO, and things are starting to change. She has plus sizes. She has like different fits, different sizing. I'm sorry, why but men should not be in charge of like. They're all made the same. Just like keep the same size matrix. That's just a pain to change stuff. Yeah. So now I know I need slim or skinny with button fly and then I can, and then the right color and then I can cut them off it's just frustrating all right our lunch date is over we are going to part ways <laughs> just for well basically for the rest of the evening unfortunately I appreciate him being home I am turned the wrong way I appreciate him being home but the rest of my evening is completely booked and it didn't involve him in any way <laughs> shape or form so I do feel bad that he's home now and I need to go to this appointment with Ashley myself she's doing a scan and they're doing her stomach and we all know her sensitivity to her stomach right now so I need to be able to go with her because I promised that she could give me cues to tell them when it's hurting her she's getting the ultrasound so I have to do that and then I'm gonna run to Target no I'm not running to Target I'm gonna run to Trader Joe's um, because my oh you were really close sorry about that my book club is tonight and we get a little we're starting to like you know get a little bougie when it comes to our like hors d'oeuvres and uh, I'm not gonna go overboard because I don't have time tonight. Can't make anything. But um, Trader Joe's just has some things that are like step up or a little bit different. I could get chocolate from there and it's just a little bit better, you know? It's just a little bit better. I mean, last time someone made like a pico sauce and they had fresh mozzarella and then they had baked a bruschetta like stick or whatever, I don't know what it's called. It was so good. Little tomatoes and a little mozzarella on the bread and it was really, really good. Well, I don't know what that's called. But, so I'm gonna step up my little treat for tonight by going to Trader Joe's and then run home and edit. And then we'll see how this little scan goes. Ashley can tell you what she's gonna save up for by doing these scans and hopefully it pays well so that it only takes two scans to get what she wants. But I'll let her tell you what it is. show you what Dana's doing. You have to tell me the camera's on, dude. <laughs> Action! 
Well, I'm pointing uh, it at you in a few seconds ago. Uh, Who's at the door? Chelsea. Come back. Okay. Okay, we're back. <laughs> okay. So I have my little setup here. There's Chelsea. Um, but I'm going to do a little... Like I wasn't going to do Hawaiian Inspire, but we've got some macadamia nuts that I can still share. I found this pineapple salsa at Trader Joe's and I got... Stay two. out! <laughs> what? Just stay out! <laughs> Um, and then I was going to do something else, I can't remember, but anyway, I've got flowers here that I got at Trader Joe's as well, so I'm just going to quickly do this, and then I've got to go get Ashley and take her to her appointment. I think I'm going to edit while I'm at that appointment. Um, so, anyway, I like to take all the flowers apart and, like, decorate them myself, so that would be your cue to cut. So Keely and Jacob surprised me and they came over to this little baseball field right by the school and uh, they're playing baseball. I didn't know that they did this kind of stuff. It's kind of cute to see them in their natural habitat as teenagers. It's kind of cute. Usually they go work out after school now that he doesn't have football and, and whatnot. But it's kind of cute to watch him. Let's see if he hits it again. She is like standing right in front of him so it's not that hard but... And now she's going to be the good girlfriend and go get all the balls. Maybe. Maybe not. Where did he go? Is he, oh, he's not going to get them. Let's see if he can hit another one. He hit one of them outside the park. Grounder. And he's going to go get the balls. <laughs> Such a funny kid. Okay, I forgot her iPad today. So we're trying to get Roblox downloaded on to my phone so she can do that. And then I brought my laptop to edit on that. She's trying to remember her password. And then you want to tell them what you maybe want to do with the money if you get good money from these scans? So, um, uh, so for Christmas I wanted an electric scooter. Well, not scooter, hoverboard. But and I said absolutely no to that, right? Yeah. So and then, what's my second option for that? This morning you found a scooter that is $199. Yes. So we have to run in, but I found, I was watching um, Brittany Morrow, More with Morrows. If you know that channel, leave me a comment below. Um, and she got one for her son, Nolan, because he has mus muscular dystrophy and he needed to learn to balance, but kind of not waste all of his energy trying to do with the scooter. And so she got an electric scooter and she had a coupon code that saved 20%, which was like 200 bucks or $20. And then the scooter itself has a $20 credit or coupon that you can apply from Amazon. So a $200 scooter, and why is that not open? Was only 160 or so? And if, why is this having a hard time? What are you like struggling? Doing anything. Were you trying to open it? Yeah. Okay, anyway, so it's a pretty good deal and I think she could actually save up for it. So we're gonna head into this scan, right? Okay, I can do my own. Did you get that, where's that little fruit thing that I just gave you? We'll see you in a minute. We'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so we're back at home, and this girl got a little McFlurry for little doing her McFlurry. scan. You told him about the, what they're doing with the photos. Oh, I'll tell him here in just a second. Yeah, but I wanted to, I'll show you. I'll tell you in a second. But I wanted to show you Chelsea's little art project here. She got more markers. This is partial birthday from Grandpa, right? And so she's working on an art project, and... She's gonna submit this artwork because our city and a lot of cities across the US um, will decorate utility boxes now around the towns just to make them look better. And her school gets to be the one to decorate their utility box for the school right out front. And she is going to submit this artwork and one child will win. There's a cash prize, but also that whole utility box will be wrapped in their artwork. And so Chelsea's going to enter that uh, that little You're contest. Not, I, get the money, it's mine, I know, but well, well, how much, yeah, and she's she's going to put her school mascot 
discreetly into the photo Maybe. so that she can represent her school. Maybe. Anyway, so it's pretty cool that she's working on that. So Ashley, we found out today for her scan, yeah. we won't talk about a lot of the parts that were harder, but the cool part, do you want me to tell them? Sure. So you know that we do these ultrasound scans and usually we're testing the equipment to make sure it's working correctly in order for it to get put into the hospitals. Today, we were in the marketing room, yeah. right? Because today they were taking photos, using the photos in their marketing material because the final project is done and they're going to submit it. So she would be the little kid on the... So her pancreas scans very well. She said her pancreas is beautiful, so she took photos of her pancreas She's like, there's a really high chance that her pancreas is going to be in the marketing material. <laughs> Not cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and the kids, they all have scans next week. She goes back, Chelsea goes, and Abby goes and... next week. So that's again, this project is done, and so now they're taking photos and putting that into the material that then goes to the hospitals um, as they're, you know, marketing to get the equipment into the hospitals pretty cool to see it come full circle because I've been in so many different like you know studies uh, over and over again we know how many times the ladies and my thyroid have been scanned but it's fun to see the product um, done and know that we're part of the entire process it's pretty cool okay I'm about to head to my meetings and then do book club I've got everything all set up but Jason's watching our video today on his phone of our last day coming home from Hawaii and he's like what you didn't get us like running through the airport <laughs> oh I'm sorry I had a bag and another bag and children and I'm sorry I didn't take the time to film uh, we're always saying as I'm running through the airport you on camera and I'm happy to get you on camera so why, but then, but why then, didn't you why didn't you get me running through the airport why didn't like why didn't you do that <laughs> I asked Oh, did you get a show to the airport? As like, oh, that's, we're, we're that's what I got. And you said yes, and then yeah, looked, that's what I got. There wasn't much running. I didn't see you running. He's like, you could but, but like, you don't know. What you guys don't know is that when I got to the gate, very last, huffing and puffing while my children are doing their inhalers because they're out of breath, and he's taking care of them. Get it? I was late to the gate, and he was like, well, why are you the, like last one here? We're gonna, we're I gonna didn't be say late. Why were you the last one here? You're like, why? Why? We're gonna be late. Why? Why are you? Oh, I asked if you had us running. You said yes. I expected to see you running. That's it. That's it. I would film you more. I would film you more. Except every time I, I film don't, you, it, you then tell the me. That's you not then the tell point. me like. That's not the point. That's not the point. <laughs> I was running through an airport. I was focusing oh, on catching our next flight, not worrying about the camera. Because if I had worried about the camera and we had missed that flight, who would have yelled at me? I would have. You would have. Thank you. That's my point. <laughs> <laughs> schmuck. All right. I'm going to sign out with you guys. Better schmuck than a douche. <laughs> Even the kids are laughing at you about that. It's the only thing you can say. He has two kinds of day. A schmuck day or a douche day. Uh, it's always good to be clean. All right. Unless anything spectacular happens, I'm all set up for book club tonight. But uh, other than that... Like, there's no rhyme or reason to these days, you guys. I'm just working my way through it, and I'm filming it along the way. So, I don't know. I, sometimes I try and come up with a theme for it. <laughs> Today is like, I, who knows? Maybe the theme is, amazing husband comes to have lunch with me. <sighs> if only that I had an amazing husband. But, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> husband surprises wife for lunch. Yeah. Yes, that was it. Or I can't button into my button flies. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, you guys. See you guys next time.